वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स आई एम बैक विद न्यू इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल इट इज़ रिलेटेड विद आवर द मेमोरी टाइप ऑफ मेमोरी एंड फंक्शनिंग ऑफ द मेमोरी सो इट इज नेम्ड एज फिजोलॉजी ऑफ द मेमोरी फर्स्टली व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द मेमोरी सो मेमोरी हैज डिफरेंट मीनिंग इट इज अबिलिटी टू रिकॉल द पास्ट इवेंट एट कॉन्सियस और अनकॉन्सियस लेवल इट इज़ अबिलिटी टू कॉल द पास्ट इवेंट एट कॉन्सियस और अनकॉन्सियस लेवल इट इज़ रेलिटिवली परमानेंट सम टाइप ऑफ मेमरीज आर परमानेंट एंड सम आर वॉलेटाइल मेमरीज एंड द रिटेंशन टू रिटेन द इंफॉर्मेशन इन द ब्रेन एंड स्टोर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ लर्न इंफॉर्मेशन एंड वट यू हैव लर्न फ्राम योर चाइल्डहुड और इन द फिटल लाइफ इट कम some uh, some of the memories remain as as such as so it is the memory basically it is the stories and collection of the events next is the type of memory memory can be categorized into two type firstly is the declarative or explicit memory second is the non declarative or implicit or reflexive memory declarative memory can be called as conscious memory so it can be regarded as inborn memory childhood memory and the brain is consciously involved in it it is not forced type of memory and second is unconscious it is learned basically classical conditioning skill and habits but you rapidly do it comes your habits and it is automatically build up in your brain and your brain automatically responds to that type of event so declarative memory it is a conscious recall of event it can be categorized into two type recent or short term memory remote or long term memory short term memory is the immediate recall of event that occur second or hour so recently occurred event within second or minutes or hour the ability to recall that type of event is called short term memory and the ability to recall the long memory that is past remote memory is called long term memory so it if it register in our brain it is due to the severe brain damage so it leads to the depression some of the event or memories never delete from our brain at it causes the brain degeneration so there are broadly two type of declarative memory short term memory and long term memory i hope it is clear to you next very important thing the physiology of the memory so there are very clinically experimental evidences that uh, tell us about how the memory actually work i have discussed here two experiments firstly the stimulation of certain area of the brain such as the temporal lobe if we stimulate the temporal lobe it produces a detailed memory event that occur in the remote past so the temporal area control our long term memory so they can not be memorized due to voluntary recall particular memory is generally produced by stimulation of the definite area of the brain it remain unfold as such as or as long as the stimulus is applied so on the application of the stimulus it remain as such so if you remove the stimulus the memory also vanish second type there is a frequently loss of memory for the event immediately before the brain conscious or the electroshock therapy so electro shock electric shock is also type of therapy to recall the brain memory so it is called retrograde amnesia so in the electric shock sometime the memory is lost so it recall after within few days or even hours so it is reported here the evidence is how the memory actually work next is the mechanism of declarative memory encoding how the coding process or encoding or storage occur encoding occur in the hippocampus 
of the brain and neighboring cortex peripheral and para hippocampal areas so these are the destined areas of the brain that are related with memory encoding this connection has the certain cell bodies cell fiber they are cholinergic type and the cholinergic receptor is very important for our memory build up glutamic acid receptor also play important role here proof if the bilateral destruction of the ventral hippocampus the ventral area of hippocampus is degenerated so memory is also destroyed because the cholinergic processes or cholinergic neuron are also destroyed and the recent memory is banished due the damage of hippo hippocampus area stimulation of the hippocampus if you stimulate the hippocampus in human it produces a seizure associated with the loss of recent memory so electrode here are implanted certain type of disorder so dead areas are all banished cholinergic receptor are damaged and the memory build up is also lost i hope you have cleared the meaning of the mechanism of decorative memory so there are the proteins that are synthesized they are related with the memory build up so the protein synthesis and the gene regulation in the neuron also play role in the activity of the memory rna synthesis in the rat in the experimental evidences then the stimulus is given the rna synthesis occurred fastly so the protein synthesis also occur annual administration of the drug that inhibit the protein synthesis that is the pyromycin it disrupt the memory so the protein synthesis will be disrupted and the memory will the will be lost what is the role of these type of proteins transmitter synthesis since is a neurotransmitter membrane permeability regulate the flow of sodium potassium chloride and calcium ions and other neural actions there are certain type of drug that facilitate the memory such as the caffeine phasmotegamine ampectamine nicotine and prilin there is a neurodegenerative disorder that is called alzheimer disease it occur due to the destruction of the cholinergic neuron i hope it is clear to you see carefully this diagram it's showing the cholinergic pathways in the pathogenesis and in alzheimer areas frontal cortex spatial nuclei hippocampus and parietal cortex and here are the cholinergic receptor so what are the event occur du during the alzheimer pathogenesis First is aggregation of the beta amyloid peptide. These are the metabolite. They are accumulated in the brain. They form the extracellular plug that is called senile plug. It leaves the inflammatory reaction with the oxidative damage of the neuron. Altered nerve fiber and a reactive glial cell activity is uh, disturbed of the glial cells. Formation of the intracellular neurofibrillary tangle. the fiber are tangled and their functioning is disrupted degeneration of the cholinergic neuron in the cerebral cortex and hippocampus so it lead to the degeneration of cholinergic neuron and the alzheimer disease occur i hope you it is clear to you what is the meaning of alzheimer disease what is the meaning of memory what are type and what is the physiology mechanism of the memory If you have any confusion related to my discussion you can comment in comment box if you like my video subscribe my channel and share this among the science lover thank you very much and have a wonderful day